Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post effective workouts so we can sweat, sculpt, burn, and transform together. If you're new here, make sure you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified on all of my latest news and workouts. In today's quick 15-minute Pilates-inspired core, we'll connect deep into the abdominals and target all areas of the core, including the rectus abdominis, the obliques, and the back. So go ahead and grab your mat and let's get ready for our spicy powerhouse workout. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my online fitness studio at embodiment360.com. I'm incredibly thrilled to offer a monthly subscription service where you can enjoy access to my entire video library, including a variety of workout lengths and styles. From low impact cardio, dance and Pilates inspired sculpt, as well as strength and flexibility training. I'd love for you guys to come by and try out the free trial with absolutely no commitment. Hope to sweat and sculpt with you all soon over at embodiment360.com. All right, guys, we are gonna start in a quadruped position. Take those wrists directly underneath those shoulders. Bird dog, we expand out, right arm, left leg, sweep out to the side, bring it back through center, and you've got the opposite side. Reaching left arm, right leg, sweep it out in opposition, sweep to the side, bring it back through center, and then gently lower. So immediately we zipper up that core, expand and elongate to the the diagonal, come back through center, and lower down with control. So we alternate this entire time, reach, lengthen core, navel to spine, breathe. So bracing that core, reach it out, lengthen it away into that little diagonal, come back in, gently lower, inhale. So warming up the core here, the front side, back side body, and press. Elongate, inhale, exhale. Last one, slowly coming down, all the way down into the belly from here. Open the legs to a little mini V. We're going to take a swan dive prep, lift the chest, lower, sweep the arms to the side body, pulse, pulse, come back through center. Lift the chest, pull the navel into the spine, drop the shoulders, lower down with control. Open the arms out to a second position. Pulse, pulse, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Lift up, so we're stretching and we're strengthening simultaneously through the back. Reach, pulse, lift, lift, lowering the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, breathe, reach it out. Pulse, pulse, palms come underneath the shoulders, dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. And then reach the arms to the side body for four, three. Now from here, I want you to bring those legs together. Lift arms and legs for superwoman. Hold, hold and breathe. Inhale, exhale it out. And from here, we'll gently lower those legs. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna come into a high plank, wrist going directly underneath. We're going to take knee taps, left to right, in and out. You can bring the legs together here, or have them gently separated. Legs together would be a little bit more challenging because it makes the body a little bit more unstable. Make sure that you're pushing the floor away. There's a soft bend through your elbows. So the eye of the elbow is gently wrapping in towards the body rather than hyperextending the elbows out like this. There's the soft bend through the elbows. Inhale, exhale, very challenging. You could always take this in an elbow plank for four, three, two, last one, beautiful. From here, we're going to come into a sideline position or side kneeling position. We're going to sweep that leg forward and press. Exhale, and breathe. So I want you to exhale as you contract this oblique. Breathe, trying to tap that toe. It's okay if it doesn't tap today. Exhale. So you've got to fire up that breathing, really utilizing that breath today. And then lengthen this arm, reaching it overhead. 
So this press down, I want you to think you're pushing something heavy down. Breathe, make it active, make it count. Now let's just hold it up right here. Hold it, breathe, inhale, exhale, core stabilization here to balance the body for four, three, two, hand behind the nape of the neck. We're going to take a knee crunch in, tap it down into a little torso twist. Now that is your modification to tap the leg down. So modification is to tap the leg down. I'm going to show you the advancement to keep the leg lifted the entire time. So working to stabilize the body, we're firing up the legs as well. So getting some sneaking in some leg work as well. If you wanna tap down, absolutely fine because I know that this is very advanced. It's very challenging. Do what you can. Breathe and press for four, three, two. Excellent work from here. We're going to go into a side plank, crossing the left over the right, reach the arm overhead. We're going to lift up and pulse, pulse. Lift it, take it eight, seven, six, five. Lift higher, four, three, two. Little holds right here. For four, three, two, last one. We've got the opposite side. So slowly taking it to, we're not slowly, we're gonna quickly transition to the opposite side. We've gotta work with our quick transitions today. We've only got 15 minutes together. Exhale. But we are controlling the body with slow controlled movements. Breathe and press. So remember, exhale. Contract that oblique. You could always do this on the forearm here. So if this is too much for your wrist, you could always do it on the forearm and sweep the leg. Exhale and breathe. Give me one more. Right here. We're gonna hold it up, hold, breathe. Inhale, exhale. You've got that knee crunch combo in four, three, Two, here we go. So we go crunch, down, maybe tapping for that modification. <sighs> Breathe, inhale, exhale. So I'm gonna show you that advancement by keeping the leg lifted the entire time. <sighs> Press, exhale. <sighs> Glutes are feeling this as well. <sighs> Wrapping the torso up and around, so we're getting the back involved with our core stability work. Very challenging move. Breathe it for four, three, two. Last one, slowly come down, crossing right over the left. Let's lift those hips. We pulse, drop those shoulders down, and press. Take it eight, seven, six, five. In four, three, two, little hold. Drop shoulder down for four, three, two, last one. From here, we're going to come into a seated position. Prop yourself up onto the forearms. So we're lifting up and out of the forearms, taking a toe tap, right, center, Lengthen to 45. Come up and out of your shoulders. So we've got that toe tap to the edge of the mat. Reach and lengthen it out. Toe tap, center, out and in. If you need to modify, you can just give me an alternating toe tap, left to right, because I know that the extension is pretty challenging. Breathe. Always tailoring these exercises and workouts to fit your body. We all have different bodies and levels here. So do what you can in four, three, two, last one. But we're constantly challenging our bodies, right? We've gotta have that change in order. We've gotta have the challenge in order to find that change. From here, bringing the legs into tabletop, you're going to open up and twist 
towards the leg that is expanding. So we're gonna twist to the right, expand the right, come back in through center. Exhale. Breathe. Exhale, twist. This is a fun little twist variation. We're breaking out of the norm. In four, three, two. Last one, head comes down. Let's just flex the toes into a butterfly crunch. Exhale. Breathe. Exhale. Push the legs out to a 45 degree angle. Exhale. So don't bring the knees all the way in because you want to have that tension on the core here. Breathe. Exhale. My legs are even feeling a little shaky here. Out flexing toes. Again, we're sneaking in some leg work. Four, three, two. Last one, you've got that ball shape to open and twist to your left side this time. So now we open, twist, reach back through center. Exhale, twist. Really working and whittling through that oblique here to build a strong powerhouse. A strong Pilates powerhouse. So today we've got some variations with our Pilates exercises for four, three, two, last one. From here, we're going to lengthen the left leg up and give me little tiny circles. Like think of a permanent marker on the tip of your toe and you're drawing a circle on the ceiling. What you wanna think about is nailing the hip bones down into the earth, using that core to stabilize the pelvis here. Breathe. And now let's reverse that circle, little tiny circles. Inhale, exhale it out for four, three, Two, last one, you've got the opposite side to do from here. So we draw it up and we take those little circles up and around. So again, thinking of that permanent marker on the toe tip, anchoring the hip points down into the earth, finding that strong core here, using that breath. Pushing the palms down into the earth for leverage here. Breathe. And let's reverse that circle right here, up and around. Inhale. Exhale it out for four, three, two. Last one. From here, we're going to take this into a Batma toe tap twist. So I'm going to bat ma, my left leg, and then toe tap, twist, breathe. So you've got a toe tap on the right, bat ma on the left, press, exhale. Inhale, exhale, breathe it. This one requires a lot of mental strength and coordination as well. For four, three, Two, we've got the opposite side to do from here. We take the bat ma, toe tap, exhale. So bat ma on the right, toe tap on the left, lengthen and reach. So we're taking that oblique twist. I am really feeling this one. Think of how strong and powerful we're becoming by executing these beautiful exercises together. In for four, three, two. 
Last one, come through center. From here, we're going to open out into a butterfly and then toe tap. So arms can be out to a T. Head is down, open and close. Now we're elongating the toe away. Breathe. So we're trying to reach the edge of our mat to challenge the core musculature even further. If you need to modify, you would go right underneath the body. But we're gonna try to challenge and open out a little bit further. Make sure that you're not arching within the spine. There'll be a natural curvature within the spine here. Go for four, three, two, last one. From here, we're going to finish off with a crisscross Breathe, we are almost there guys. Stay strong. Reaching into that Pilates crisscross, elbow coming in towards the knee. Breathe it out. Can you stretch that leg a little bit further? Can you open those elbows nice and wide? Chin off the chest for four, three, two, and last one. Pull the knees in, you can crisscross at your thighs or your knees for a spinal opener. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Congratulating your body for making it through that difficult Pilates inspired workout. Take it to the opposing side, open up the spine and the abdominals here. A well-deserved stretch for the body. Holding here for four, three, two. Last one, use your core to lift you back up. Take an inhale. And then an exhale out. If you're looking for more dance and Pilates inspired workouts, be sure to check out my online studio where I offer a variety of workout lengths and styles to keep you feeling strong, fit, and fierce. Head on over to embodiment360.com today to start your free trial. Beautiful work, friends, and I hope to sculpt it out with you soon again.